What's up there guys, welcome back to the channel and so we are cracking on with more of this delightful car game that we've been playing and yeah, we have reversed time a little bit because I have loaded back in from where we saved last time if you didn't check out the previous video I would recommend that you go ahead and do that to get an idea of what we're doing but yeah guys, strap yourselves in get ready, we're about to get ourselves to bed and crack on with a new day <laughs> All right, so here we are rising for a new day and thankfully it's fairly early so we might get a good crack at getting what we need to do to today done. Um, we're a little bit hungry right now so we're going to grab some of these, get those downed and yeah, we saved our game last time. We've still got a coffee here on the side if we need a bit of an energy boost at some point. But for now guys, what we're going to do is quickly get a tree chop down because we said we were going to check prices in town last time and we also need to get ourselves across to the gas station so this tree is down now it's rolling away which is going to be a bit of a nuisance we'll get it chopped like that we'll put this away this is a lot of walking back and forth isn't it uh, which is time consuming I'm thinking about time now you know because we we used up a lot of time last time by basically clowning around and, um, well, I was showing you some things, wasn't I? But we also, whoa, that is big. That is taking up a lot of space in there. I was not expecting these logs to be so big, to be honest with you. Um, I wonder if we can fit all four in. We're certainly going to do that. Um, so, actually, there's five pieces to this. Um, so, yeah, we are going to be heading into town. We're going to sell these logs um, at the spot. See how much we get for them. It's actually six pieces. Is, is it just me or is it adding more and more pieces as we're trying to fit them in here? That looks like it's full to me. Thankfully. Whoa, I didn't want to sit down. Thankfully, we've still got our stuff in there that we bought last time. We picked up the seeds and also the uh, the packet of... I thought it said packet of cheese puffs and it was it was it looks like it's something else on the on the on the actual thing. Right. Okay. These are not going to fit, are they? We'll put these logs in the shed um, because I don't know whether there's any sort of um, anything that happens if they get wet. If that makes sense. Don't know whether that makes any sense at all. But anyway, we'll pop these logs in here just to uh, keep them out out of the uh, out of the external sort of forces of nature. Right. Let's get this door closed. Get ourselves sat down. Get the car into reverse. And we're hitting the road, really. That's what the plan is today. Hopefully, we're not going to drop those things. You can see how much they move around, though. I'll tell you what guys, we are heading directly in the town. Whoa, there's another car. I haven't seen another car on this section of the track before. I'm going to overtake. I don't want to be held up really. And there's another one as well. Wow, first time. I think we can indicate as well, and I'm not too sure whether there's any sort of um, advantage to that or not. This truck grips this uh, tarmac very well though. You can really throw it around. Um, I think the first thing we'll do is take the log straight down to the wood uh, place. It's only half past eight in the morning. So much of the day. Oh, there was a person on the veranda there. OK, 
Okay, we're doing 100 k's. Uh, that's quite fast. I do want to see what the sort of the rates are like here for these for these logs. Wonder if we can do like we did at Francis's and just reverse the truck over the um over the thing. Oh yeah, there we go. So those logs were sixty dollars there for four. Um, if, hold on a sec. I can't see how many there is from this angle. Yeah, for four, sixty dollars, so fifteen dollars each, and it's it was seven dollars per half a log when we, when it was chopped for firewood. So it actually works out better to bring it here because you get fifteen per log. Haven't been up that way yet. Um, it says that that's heading to the continent. So yeah, not too sure what that entails because it seems like it's off the map. Um, not that the map is a great deal of use anyway, to be quite frank, but... Let's get ourselves to the garage anyway. We said we were going to. I don't know if there's a supermarket somewhere around here as well where we can buy food. Um, I'll have a look. Maybe we'll go back the other way. But for now, let's with the money that we've got now, we can certainly do a bit of fueling here. Um, we've got our can. We've got our truck to fuel. And certainly with this can, we can, um, we can uh, do quite a lot. Right, let's fuel the truck first because it's pointless if the truck's going to run out. Should we use regular? Whoops. <laughs> we can't use the peasant fuel. How do we put it back? There we go. Right, okay. We'll use the expensive stuff then. Um, what is it? Left click. Right, let's see how much is this is going to cost to fill this truck. Bear in mind we've taken two trips to the town so far. Um, but we should have plenty of money to be fair. But I'll probably just fill this up to be fair. We'll probably have to dig, we'll probably have to get some more trees um, chopped down. Get a bit more money. There we go, $44, not too bad actually. And we'll get the cap on here. Um, this one. We'll unscrew that. We will fill this up. I wonder how much goes in here. Right, so that's... So it's $44... Forty-four dollars to fill this in. It was about what a quarter full. I don't know, something like that. And then this one, it's only seventeen dollars. So not, it's not a great deal of um, fuel in there, to be fair. I wonder if we can get another um, gas can. We might need it with a number of things that we're running on fuel back at the uh, house. All right, first time in the gas station. We've got maple syrup here, uh, $7. We've got a wheel selection up here, which at least look quite good, don't they? Uh, eyelashes, paintable. Uh, coffee, um, magnetic tray. That's what we need. I mentioned it in the first episode when you're messing around with bolts. Um, magnetic tray is really useful because it can carry the bolts back and forward. Uh, what else have we got here? So we've got undergo, underglow kit, um, shifters, 
quite like well don't really like those to be fair uh, universal wheels to be fair we could do with a new steering wheel because our current one is actually broken pruning loopers I don't know what we're going to need those for um, window film remover we've got an adjustable spanner we've got new tires summer tires a window tint kit different levels um, I guess this is like a Recaro seat $200 ah, tire pump um, shock absorbers brake rotor calipers I guess we're going to need all these things pack of bolts um, rust repair kit dent repair kit bolts pack again a torch up there performance exhaust pipes uh, tire changer hmm fifteen dollars per use some more axle stands and then a new engine which is three thousand well oh what's in here ah we've got a paint bench here if we want to repaint stuff a bus steering wheel and a car which doesn't have any parts which are visible mix I hate this client and modified grinder disc and a truck out there I wonder whether they use that to uh, recover stuff anyway let's have a word with these guys so that's Norman does he want to say anything no 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 he wants to be left alone. Okay. Ah, Jack. Really nice weather. Well, anyways, thanks for stopping in. Have a good one. Well, it said talk to him. So. Hmm. All right. Well. Right. Um. It's already deducted the seven dollars for us picking that up. So we'll get that downed, because we could have done with some more maple syrup there. Um, I don't know whether we've got any dents in the car. We've certainly got rust. But I think we should pull the car out and assess to see what the bodywork's actually like. For now, we've got the tyre uh, pump. Which will pop in here. I really would have liked another gas can, but... Don't know whether that's an option. We'll also get some maple syrup. Let's get a couple of maple syrups. Oops. Um, is there anything else here that we need or... It's good to know the prices of stuff anyway. I don't know what those pruning loopers are going to be used for, but I think we need to think about bodywork. But we also need to be a little bit careful with money because we're currently um, Thursday, five cent discount on super. All right, well, it's we could have waited till tomorrow to get fuel. But anyway, what can you do? Um, that's a bit of a shame really right okay um, we bear in mind that the takeaway joint is down that way we'll head this way anyway because this is heading towards the other island and I want to drive back that way um, The bus, by the way, you can jump on, from what I understand. And it, it gives you a bit of a lift, really. I don't know whether it charges you or not. I need to try that out. So, turbo construction. I don't think there's anything going on there, is there? Oh, hold on. Here's somewhere. 
leave the car in second gear. Seems to be a good driving gear. Engine off. Mind you, this thing's pretty rusty. To be fair, the rust kit wouldn't have gone amiss, would it? Um, what's in here? Tubing junction. Tubing roll. Sap spouts pack. Can sealer. Can lids. Empty can. Maple syrup can crate. All right, so is this where we would make maple syrup? I'm still at a loss as to um, where we're going to get poutine from. Place a barrel of syrup here to sell it. Back the old truck. Didn't get to read that. The maple syrup... Uh, it sounded like maple syrup in the back of it, basically. I didn't read it in time. This truck is quite rusty, actually. Um, maybe we should test out the rust kit on the truck. I think that might be a good option. Tell you what, let's quickly blast back to the garage. And then we'll come back up this way. Driving in this game is really good. I, 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 I don't know how to describe it to you. Um, how can a game that looks like this... So, by the way... Oof, nearly gone straight past the garage there. Absolutely reckless driving. How can a game that looks this good... Made in Unity, by the way, as I was saying. Um, have good driving mechanics. Well, it does. I don't know how to, I don't know how to tell you. Even on keyboard, it feels really good. Right, we'll get the rust kit. Um, there's 50 quid, $50 down the, down the drain. Please don't tell me that we've just used it all up in one go. Is that how much things cost? Okay, I, I'm hesitant to get another one for the time being. But it looks like they're... I hope they restock as well. Okay, let's get one more. And see if they restock. So we've done one wheel with that. Wow, okay, restoring this truck um, is going to be really expensive. And from when I've gone out there, he hasn't restocked the shelves, but I guess we can check next time we come back, because we're going to be paying regular visits there, aren't we, to get our stuff. Okay, right, we've got our fuel, we've got our maple syrup. Um, I really hope we find another place where we can get... Uh, a supply of these things, but anyway, we're gonna have to start making our own maple syrup, aren't we? Need to research what that sugar shack is, but we'll do it, we'll follow our to do list. But for now, guys, we're heading back home. Um, we'll see how much time we've got once we've got home, whether we can blow up the tires or whatever. But this is the other island, so this is the island off to the left. Um, there's a, quite a few roads here that are closed off and I'll just quickly bring up the map this is the fastest part of the road where it says um, Vroom there over to the left um, where it says Jamis Terminin or however you pronounce that that's a bridge that's closed and there's also Leo I haven't seen who that is, and I don't really know what that's about, so who that is or what he's about, but basically, um, 
there's a racetrack on this island as well in the middle part so looking at the left island um, there's a bridge as well over to the far left a very short one there we'll, we'll see what see when we cross that Leo is going to be after that so that gives us an indication of what's going on autodrome I think that means that it's closed it certainly looks closed And I don't know whether it's open on an evening, therefore. Right, here's the bridge over the water. Now I'm expecting something over to the left here. Right, the road is curving round to the right. Okay, so we've passed this Leo character. I don't really want to pull off this road, to be honest with you, and end up ditching this car. Um, there must be... Well, that's what I get for not looking behind me, isn't it? Don't know what that sign means. Left a truckload of stuff here. Is that fast food packet? I don't know what we're getting into wandering into the woods like this, to be honest with you. On a Wednesday afternoon. And I'm not even too sure whether there's anything to see back here. And is that the autodrome over there? I don't know whether we've missed Leo, who he is, what he is, or what he does. Um, but we head back to the truck, I think, and head back home. We need to keep an eye on our energy and uh, maple syrup food, etc. So... I'm using shift here to run, by the way, so that's going to be using extra energy. I hope our truck's still there and I hope everything's there in it. Because there's no way of locking your vehicle as well. I don't know whether there is, uh, whether theft is a thing in this game or not. Right, there's our truck. Well, there's certainly something going on there because there's a bunch of uh, I think this is like fast food packets and I have no idea what this means um, I, I'll research I think it, what, it might be a good idea to research these things and also find out where we can get more food from if we need it But for now, guys, we are heading home. Um, it's three o'clock in the afternoon, so we still have a bit of time on our hands. So a couple of um, buildings on this island, but I don't think any of them do anything now. I could be wrong. I'm going to be careful of that turning. I think that one's marked on the map, that corner. It's been particularly dangerous. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, so it's that one. Diable. I'm not too sure what that means. 
Um, Is it just me or was the truck seemingly leaned to one side there? I was a bit worried I'd got a puncture there. I certainly hope I haven't. Right, okay. Um, let's keep it moving. To be fair, any of these corners are dangerous at speed. They end up ditching the car completely. It does feel a bit dangerous, but it also feels like really, uh, really satisfying. Well, we need to find a way of making a decent amount of money, that's for sure, because we're already um, down to $94. And that was just from two rust repair kits. I can't imagine how much rust repair are. Um, our car's gonna need because it looks like a complete mess. Never mind. Whoa. Now that was. Yeah, that wasn't very good, was it? We'll leave the parking brake off. I'll turn the engine off. Um, we'll switch it into neutral. We're gonna have to. <laughs> wow, I've well and truly buried that truck in there, haven't I? Um, at those driving at those speeds anyway. Right, where's the best place to put this? Maybe here. Hopefully it'll reach over here. Ah there we go, it attaches to the um the hook. Right, let's pull this thing out of here. I've got a feeling this is going to be a very common occurrence in this game, having the hook and and drag these things out. Is it just me or is it not moving? Oh no, it is. You can see it there just at the top. Now it isn't. Oh, you can zoom. How did I do that? Oh, Q. I wonder whether we can... Re I didn't even try to reverse out of here. Certainly not helping, even with 4x4 four four on. Might be because this is attached. Let's try again. Nope, that is not helping. Switch it back into neutral. And we will also turn off the engine. Um Okay, let's try it a bit closer, maybe. Okay, is that better? Oh, I can see why it won't come out. It's It's totally wedged under there. Um, maybe if I pull it sideways. Yeah, it's not going to come out that way. Um, how far do I need to pull it, though? That's the problem. This bit looks like it might pull up, but it's the other wheel that's uh, well and truly stuck. And this is very rough. 
Yeah, I don't know whether this way might be the best, you know. Let's try. This is very time consuming. We're in the late afternoon now, and this is a disaster so far. This was bad play on my behalf. Come on, truck, out you come. Come on, baby, out you come. We're so close as well to our home. Um, we've got a full load of fuel in there as well. Come on, up you come. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, we seem to be in a better position now. There we go. Wow, I'm so relieved. Oh, I think we stalled it. Never seen a stall before, but we certainly attached to this, so that wasn't ideal. Um, oh, so grateful to be out there. I thought we were going to have to leave. I was thinking there we might have to leave the truck if it won't come out. Um, but here we are, home sweet home. Now, the only thing about parking in the garage is actually, um, what happens if you run out of fuel? And you can't get the generator running? Then what? So we're not going to do that with this truck. Uh, we'll leave this one outside. But what we will do is offload our stuff. And get these things out of here. So, maple syrup will pop in here. I don't know how exactly to straighten this up. I don't know what grid mode is. Oh, there we go. That straightens it. Oh, there you go, you can straighten it even more. Whoops. Let's see if we can get that in the fridge. It's not really a great... There we go. There's one in. Right, there's the, where's the other? Putting our stuff away is obviously quite time consuming, but it's all right. Could be worse. It's worse ways to spend your time. I don't know what, what else have we got here. So we've got uh, potato seeds. Don't know whether this needs to go in the fridge or not. And the other thing is, is most of the time our fridge is off because we, we're not running the generator 24 seven. Oh, all those have just fallen out. Oh my days. Oh dear. I wish I'd never put it I try to put that one in now because it's it's um the one that we put in could is gonna be we're gonna need to consume one anyway, so there we go. We'll leave this one on the counter. Or just anywhere here, really. Because we're going to consume it in just a moment. Um, and this stuff, I don't know what this is. Cheese curds. 
I don't think we can eat them. As they are. Anyway, we'll get this door closed. That's been quite a hectic day. It's now 6 o'clock in the afternoon. We'll put these things away. Move these... Get these logs... Uh, in the flipping way, aren't they? And we'll blow our tyres up as well. But for now, we have fulfilled this using Q to zoom in now that we've figured that out. We've fulfilled the starter side of things to do intermediate. Good friendship with Francis. So going to chat to him, I think, is going to be a necessary thing. And um, complete the garage. So he says he wants firewood. Does that include the wood that he needs in order to um, build the garage? Buy the cottage to get more land. Well, I don't know where the cottage is, but we'll have a look at that. Gain access to the scrapyard. Install the manual transmission. Buy the small aluminium trailer. Connect your house to the power grid. Buy the dolly trailer. Sell a French fry pack. Unlock scrap. Hmm. To do garden. Plant a tree from a cutting. Find some seeds. Okay, so we've got the seeds um, from a cutting. So I wonder what that. I wonder if that's what the choppers are for. Harvest a plant. Make a cannabis joint. Sell a pack of cannabis joints to a friend. Okay. Uh, put our torch on here for the sugar shack. Buy, build the sugar stack. Shack. Sorry, sugar sh shack. Buy a roll of tubing. So that's going to be an expensive venture. I think for now, let's work on our relationship with Francis. So we'll take him some more firewood, I think, tomorrow. But yeah, guys, really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please do let me know by hitting me up with the like button. We're going to guzzle some maple syrup, like so. We're going to have some poutine, if we've got any left, like so. We're running a little low on energy, but the first thing we'll do is just hopefully save. This thing should be charged. It certainly is. Right, let's hit save. So we're doing that now. As you can see, time goes by as you save it. Same as with the, uh, same as with the computer. And we will leave the console there even though our power isn't on we really need to connect to the power grid really but anyway we can always charge that in the morning i really want to say thank you so much for joining me for this episode hit me up in the comment section let me know what you think if you're not already subscribed to the channel i'd love if you go ahead and do that yeah guys we're about to hit the sack so thank you so much for joining me and i'll catch you guys again soon